everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. This is episode 36. Lady Last time. Fifi and Lady Babette de Lancet, daughters of the Comte de Lancet. Last time, we started Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts, and we are here at an Orlesian ball. Uh, good timing. Everyone's names is getting prattled off with their beautiful titles, and we've been talking to the groups. We've been getting to know people. We've got Gaspard, Briala, and Celine all kind of like going at it, and there's history between Lord all of them. Comte de Travers and his wife, Lady Elodie, patroness of the artist Chantal Valroyau, and Sir Bastien Vauclin, Chevalier of the Empire and Paramour of the Comte. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, okay, wonderful. I need to get out of here because they're going to keep rattling off titles. Uh, we spoke to Briala. Uh, we have yet to head over here to speak to Gaspard. Uh, the ballroom is popping off. It's, it's popping off. All right. Uh, Leliana's here. We're going to talk to Leliana being out here as well. And we're going to make for the servants' quarters. We met Morrigan. Lady M. Surprise moment. <laughs> Still kind of like processing that. It just comes out absolutely out of nowhere. And you're like, okay, sure. <gasps> Where's my hero of Ferelden? He's babysitting at home. Stay at home, dad. Okay. <laughs> well, while mother goes to work. So let's have a chat to Gaspard. We'll run over here and then we'll continue on with our quest line. Now, we did not divulge that we knew information to Briala at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if we are going to, because we've, we've just met. It's like, oh, I've heard things about you. We let Celine's advisors know, because we're kind of here to protect her, but we'll see how we go. Gaspard, you dirty dog. Look at all of these bottles. Are you wasted? My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? If you're as delighted by the court as I am, there's a decanter of port around here. Okay. Are you wasted? Oh, I found something interesting. There we go. So we can actually talk to him about it too. I'd like to know more about you. All of Orle knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Orle. But my cousin, Celine, is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. <laughs> the crown or her head? What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cough swept Val Royer in 877. It killed thousands of children, royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicale the I. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest. By rights, the crown should have passed to me. If only we had a pandemic that could only last 100 days <laughs> at this point. If you're the rightful heir, how did Celine become Empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Celine is a Valmont. Her honored father was my mother's brother, but she is the youngest. When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Celine outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. Okay. Do you want her dead? Just what are you claiming? Her crown or her head? If Celine loses her head, it will not be my doing. I want my empire. I do not wish harm on my cousin, but I would not weep at her demise. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have a question about the peace talks. What are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking. 
but I am the rightful Emperor of Ole. The Empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. What action did you have in mind? The Empire is declining. We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Orle return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. Nice. You intend to return to expansionism. I like to solve problems in the simplest manner, my friend. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalized expressions when they see us together. <laughs> what can you tell me about Selene and Briala? Briala may be called Ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers are better than diplomacy. I need to remember the pronunciation of chevalier, because I keep saying chevalier, because I just I keep reading it as it is spelt. Chevalier, chevalier. Chevalier! And watch me say Chevalier next time. Old habits die hard, baby. Chevalier. Chevalier. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us. That elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere. And I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, a war will be ended. Politics, my friend. <sighs> what calamities befall us if they stop serving drinks early? If we're lucky, another war will break out. <laughs> I cannot abide the game, my friend. I prefer my enemies armed and facing me. I like clear winners and losers. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. I do not wish for war, Monsieur. And I also wish you to know about my ears. Elves have no place in politics. I know, but I'm the Inquisitor. I discovered something you might be interested in. All right, I'm gonna, I wanna see what he says, actually. It's about you, in fact. Want to tell me why you were threatening the members of the Council of Heralds? The language of politics, Inquisitor. If you cannot bribe politicians, you threaten them into backing down. Most of the Council are Selene's lapdogs. There was little chance I could win their support any other way. I can say it again? All right, interesting. Goodbye. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. I love that this isn't just set dressing, and this is genuinely the fact that he's been drinking himself drunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> only made clear by uh, the way that he speaks about it. Let me add him. Oh. I actually can jump over that. I was expecting that to be an invisible wall because I can't get past these guys. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> I lost a, look like I lost a point of court sale. approval. Everyone enjoys music. Oh, I can deliver this. Oh, I see. I now understand this quest. So last time I was like, oh, there's a black man one and a social leverage one. But now I understand that there is collecting the blackmail gathering and then you need to deliver them but they're named differently okay I need coins I need hollow statues I need Jenny stashes 
Hello, I've got things. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. <laughs> There's a Devinter assassin on the loose and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? You seem different here. You're different here than in Skyhold. More <laughs> approachable, perhaps. It's the hood. This is Halam Sheral Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Who should we support? Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. Okay, so we have a fence sitter, and we've got ones that are like Gaspard and ones that are like Celine. No one for Briala. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Sheral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Nice. Ooh. You get court approval by delivering secrets to Liliana. Okay. Uh, that is one way to get secrets. I mean, approval. Okay. Um, to the servants' quarters. To the servants' quarters. I still remember the day they... Another time, perhaps? Ah, oh, yes. I remember. You don't want to talk to me. We must wait for that. I don't think the court knows what to make of this Inquisitor. <laughs> to the vestibule. Now, we've been given the key to the quarters by Morrigan. And we've been told that anyone who goes in has not come out. So I'm sure everything's going to be fine. This could be worth checking out. Oh. I have faded to black. <laughs> that was really weird. Like, I could, like, walk in. Oh, it's because I've got my party. Open the inventory menu to equip weapons and armor. Caught right. in the middle of this crap. What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? Interesting. Okay. Um, did not, did not expect this. That's why I was like, okay, it makes sense why it was taking so long to load. It was loading um, party time. Okay. Well, I guess we can equip our actual stuff. All right. We're all dressed up. We're all in our fancy hats and I'm keeping the hats on <laughs> while we're in here. We're all in disguise. <laughs> right, let's examine the corpse. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. Let's take a look around, shall we? 
There's a lot of dead people in here. A battered journal. Diary of a nosy servant. Since I took that box up to the grand apartments, nine people have subtly tried to ask me where the vault is, including a couple of chevaliers, the fifth undergardener, and one of the grand duchess's footmen. I'm not mad enough to tell. It's just, it feels so much easier to say chevaliers, chevaliers. Oh, I'm losing court approval. I hate everything. Okay, I'm now rushing again. Okay. Akio Hala statue. You're... N I... Okay. You're not gonna hide sta statues that I... Oh. The developers of this game went... Put Hala statues in this game in areas where you're losing court approval over time <laughs> and will also make it frustrating for you to get there because hee hee. Silly. Okay. Please stop blocking the door. Okay. Let's look around. Nice. Oh man, the fact that you have to like run right into a goddamn corner for a Hala statuette. I don't know if we're going to end up finding them all. Especially when I'm now on a time limit, but we'll try. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? The crest of the Shalom family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. Oh, Jesus! Assassinos! Whoa! Venatory agents! Find the Harlequin. I guess it's at least nice that you can gain court approval um, by discovering secrets. So there is ways to still bump it on up, but it doesn't make it any easier. Venatori yeah. just casually roaming the gardens. At the very least, we can continue um, just okay. Continue sprinting everywhere to save time and hopefully see if there's any hollow statuettes or anything around the place. Actually. Take that off. I don't really have another ring to give you. Yeah, heal for 2% on kill for now. Um, I think I'm going to steal that ring, actually. So he doesn't have to be in invisible anymore. I'll be invisible instead. And then I can surprise my enemies. Because whenever... Why is he still invisible? It's all this. I guess because I took the ring off? Stop being invisible. There we go. Stop being invisible. <laughs> You're not allowed. You don't have the ring on anymore. I have the one ring.
Nice. Okay. Now. I don't have time to worry about fall damage. My court approval is going down. The grand apartments. Okay. Trying to cover every corner I can. Just if there's anything we need. Let's fight. I'm gonna look around. Never mind. I'm gonna continue fighting. There's too many of them. Jashavis, mother of Ole, it is said that we owe much to the sons of betrayal. Three brothers were charged with girding against an imperium in wait, and in mourning Andraste, we tribes of the Crescent willingly bartered diversity for solidarity. Tevinter would not be defeated in Our Lady's lifetime, but would be balanced against for lifetimes to come. While a son of betrayal named the fields Ole, it was Jashavis, his wife, who shaped what we are. Our hatreds were older, bound to tradition. All our hatreds were abandoned so we could call strangers kin and stand as one against the Imperium. Greater her spite for how necessary the cost, because she knew we had a choice in that day, or no choice the next. She brought the marriage that wed tribe within tribe, but promised an untold vengeance on, of her own. If we stand against outsiders, we stand for ourselves. She would not suffer the rule of Alamari, son or no son, of betrayal or profit. Jashavis plied brother against brother in turn, then named both as partners in crimes against faith. With artful turns, she invited invasion, then crafted rebellion against the court she inspired. Brother would kill brother and be killed in turn, two liberations that she would then own. Eight generations before the Empire, before Draken, here were the seeds of elegance to come. Jashavis, twice married to sons of betrayal, twice widowed, our first chieftain born from us, of what would become true or lay, where we venerate faith and the beauty of sacrifice, with daggers well hidden but well within reach. It is true we owe much of the sun, much to the sons of betrayal, for they were the tools that a master cast down. Let others claim credit for birthing the nation. Jashavis claims nothing and gave us the game. This text was translated from a highly romanticized account on the first or a female chieftain of the unified Syrian tribes of Orle. The region and people would later coalesce under Draken into the modern nation of Orle. Many culturally distinct communities were forced, forcibly merged during the rule of Matharath and his sons, ostensibly to create more efficient barriers against the likelihood of a Tevinta return to conquest. The effects of this relocation can still be observed in many Orlesian, Navaran, and Freemarcher traditions. Thank you, Philium the Bard, for that one. Yeah. A compendium of all Legion theater. Callista paces on the battlement over the lake. The sky is dark. She holds a cup of poison. Kamalia is there, face veiled. The dawn is late. It will not come again. It must hide neath the clouds. It will not come again. The queen thinks you dead. Kamalia, her back to the audience, faces Callista and removes her veil. Callista moans in fear. She drops her cup from the setting of light by Lumiere Bartlett. These lines are from a play said to have been one of the strangest works of its time. Bartlett was a writer of small repute who died when a fire swept through his pauper's hovel. The setting of the light takes place in the mysterious city of uh, Deme, Deme, implied to be another world that somehow becomes our own moon. 
accidents, madness, and suicide plagued the first production, and some historians claim that the play's conclusion was at once so hauntingly beautiful and shockingly vile, it sparked the great riot of Val Royale in the 52nd year of the Black Age. The truth will forever be a mystery. Only 14 pages of the play remain. Okay, something that we've read already then. Oh, never mind, hang on. The Lion of Orlais. Sometimes it just doesn't pop up and then it's just heavily delayed. The Lion of Orlais. Weird that it doesn't pop up. As to your question regarding why a lion is considered the symbol of Orlais, particularly when the lion is a creature native only to eastern Thetis, the answer is quite simple. It adorns the crest of the Valmonts, the family that has ruled the Empire since the end of the Exalted Age, and in truth, it is the Valmonts which have come to represent Orlais. Before them, the Orlesian symbol was that of the descendants of Cordilius Draken, a dragon. As to why the lion adorns their crest, that dates back to the time of Lambert Valmont, a young captain of Orlais who distinguished himself at the Battle of Aisley, that great and infamous battle that ended the Fourth Blight. It is said that young Valmont disregarded orders during the battle, taking his forces to relieve the beleaguered Antivans and saving them from absolute destruction. Though his superiors were at first chagrined, chalking up the captain's actions to an infatuation with a certain Antivan camp follower, this, incidentally, has never been confirmed. It later came to light that the Antivan force had been led by King Azar Adalberto Campana himself. In the political realignment following the Blight's End, Antiva was an important ally to Orlay, and Lambert Valmont was an Antivan hero. He was given the hand of one of King Azar's daughters in marriage and elevated to noble rank with a valiant lion to adorn his newly created heraldry. The Orlesian Emperor was forced to respond in kind, granting Valmont a a marquis, a marquisate, a, a marqui, marquisate, marquis, marquisate. Imagine, if you will, the hero returning to Val Royale from the Blight, sporting a wife with royal blood and the honors of two nations. This is why jealous nobles called him the Swaggering Lion, a nickname he embraced. It was Lambert, Lambert Valmont's son, Alphonse, who later led the civil war against the usurper Xavier Draken. He killed Xavier in single combat, giving rise to the great Orlesian legend of the lion slaying the dragon, putting an end to the dragon dynasty as he assumed the throne, and changing the Orlesian symbol forever. So, very interesting is that uh, Eastern Thetis is where you will find a lion. I want to fight him. We haven't seen him. It's, it's weird that we live in a time in Dragon Age where there are nugs and snooflers and you know, and whatever's, and then there's lions. <laughs> it's like, it's always interesting, like the mix of uh, known creatures and fantastical ones. I need to get back before I'm missed. Sarah approves. Oh, that was a red Jenny stash. Is there another red Jenny stash around here, maybe? Not according to the map. Oh, okay, dead end. Um, so I need to go there. I think I need to be upstairs to the upper level. I'm gonna get lost in these gardens. So they've given us a, a map uh, to get lost in, <laughs> in the gardens. An actual labyrinth. Put us on a time limit and also have a bunch of hidden things for us to find. I gotta say, not pleased. They're like, where's the Inquisitor? Oh, hello.
Winter Palace, the Grand Apartments. This wing once served as a home away from home for members of House Valmont's four cadet branches, but it has fallen into disuse since Emperor Florian's reign. The late Emperor would not allow relatives more distant than his siblings into the Winter Palace. For years, the entirety of the Grand Apartments was closed off. Keep fighting, I'll be back. So I think I'm Ah, oh, Hala statuettes to open this door. Nice Elven locket. <laughs> the Empress can't give up her pretty things. Silent Jenny. Okay, inventory is now full. I'm gonna trash some stuff. All right, we can now go back to looting valuables. I guess I need to just stop saying take all <laughs> to everything. I need to learn to leave things behind. It, it kind of uh, physically pains me to do that, but then at the same time, it's just kind of, I can recognize that it's useless. Doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. You're like, ah, oh, but the stuff, it might be good. Wait, what the hell? You're all still alive? Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> I left you to kill them while I went exploring. And they just decided to wait for me. Uh, Alright, everybody, take a break. The Inquisitor has left combat. We'll all just stand around until she comes back. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh. It's like, what the fuck? Fancy meeting you here. Ooh. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? I love that I'm in the middle of like trying to loot bodies and I'm like fading to black. All right, hang on, I gotta play the game. <laughs> no doubt there's a line of people breathlessly waiting for dancers with me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Mm -hmm. You clean this place out. Will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? <laughs> what if it was? So interesting. Gaspard's work, or I found him dead. He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. It's really interesting that he's like, yeah, I don't wish to see her die, but if she dies, I won't be sad about it. But also, to winter assassins. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? Call it politics or the game or whatever. That's personal hate. Huh. <laughs> 
Alright, got a statue that we almost missed. Look how good my court approval is. Alright, I'm ho I was hoping to find some secrets here for uh, Liliana. To, you know, give me some hopeful insurance for my approval. Mad Emperor Reveal. Modern history often forgets that Mad Emperor Reveal was at first celebrated as a military genius. Despite the warnings of his twin brother, Gratian, younger by a mere hour, he committed or lay to an invasion of Ferelden, an invasion that proved wildly successful. In the breadth of one campaign, Reveal had expanded the reach of the Empire across all of Southern Thetis and allowed the court to dream of achieving even greater heights. The victory came at a cost, however, and when Gratian's prediction of war with an opportunity Navarra, uh, with an opportunistic Navarra proved true, the Orlesian Chevaliers met spectacular defeat. Everything we know of history states that Grand Duke, uh, is it Gratien? Gratien had nothing but his brother's best interests at heart. The man was a kind soul, much in love with his wife and many children, and, according to all letters recovered, vastly relieved not to be burdened with the throne. Reveal, however, went from reveling in the approval of his court to being the butt of jokes and the target of whispers. He was surrounded by uh, courtiers who said his brother was behind this criticism, and as rebellion and occupied Ferelden began, things grew worse. There was often open talk of placing Gratien on the throne when Marquis uh, Yvette, Reveal's mother and a calming influence, died and threw him into mourning. He snapped. Reveal ordered the assassination of Gratien and his entire family at their estate of Sablescent on their feet of ascension. Gratien, his wife, their three grown children and eight grandchildren, the youngest, Camille, only eight months old, all slaughtered and thrown into a mass grave, their bodies burned. The brutal slaughter sent a chill through the imperial court and even the emperor's own children feared to speak out against him. He became increasingly paranoid and began wearing armor every time he left his rooms. His health began to decline, but he refused to allow physicians of any kind into the palace. By the 50th year of the Blessed Age, Reveal refused to leave his rooms at all. His paranoia had grown so great that only a single cook was permitted to prepare his food, and only under the supervision of ten chevaliers. He no longer ate anything but venison, and his health, unsurprisingly, was poor. In the 51st year of the Blessed Age, Emperor Reveal finally died, and upon entering his rooms, his sons found that he had boarded up the windows and surrounded his bed with rows upon rows of daggers. You know, reading out loud is already enough of a challenge, as it is, but reading fantasy-related uh, text out loud, it is uh, even more of a challenge. Let me tell you that much. Okay, so um, we can go down here, or we can go this way, or we could have just jumped off the balcony, I guess. Let's go off the balcony for dramatic effect. Yeah. Just in case there's anything along this path. Okay, and I guess we can leave. I hear like the sound effect of oh. Head back to the ballroom. We'll handle this. Head back to the ballroom. I think what's kind of got me on edge is I feel like I can hear a sound effect of like there being an item to pick up, to search for, but at the same time, um, we're wasting time and I'm going to lose approval, so it's pretty rough. I might just have to go home. We might just have to go home. This is one of the ways that we can go back, right? Oh no, this is a dead end. What have I done? I'm, I'm, I'm so lost in this place. Alright, just run back this way. We'll return to the party. Ah, oh, now this is open? Okay. Now this is open. There you go. Lovely. 
Well, we got some Hala statuettes. I might be able to open one of those earlier doors now. I think I might have enough. We'll see. I'm assuming we're being put back into our former wear. Yes, there it is. Okay, we can now explore the trophy room, Gaspard's clandestine meeting. Um, oh, the entire map has disappeared from me as well. Confront the Grand Duke. The servants are concerned about suspicious activity in their quarters, so we can confront the Duke out here. But then Gaspard's clandestine meeting, explore the trophy room. Okay, let's do a save. Leave us. And the bells are ringing, which means we are being summoned to the ballroom, right? Might be. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, I don't know if they're going to say anything new again. You seem more comfortable. Because I think they just repeat their dialogue. Than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journey. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes. I'll be back. And well. And well. Okay. Uh, hang on. There's something around here, though. Is it my imagination, or are there more Inquisition on our right now? That would be the second bell. Fashionably late now. Whenever you're fashionably late, you get court approval. I love it. Um, hmm. Ambassador Anton. Um, hang on, just quick. Did you see that knife-eared servant girl in the kitchen? The ginger. Keep talking. I'm starting to believe I was there. I need to get one of those. Don't we all? Okay. Back to the ballroom. Inquisitor Lavellon. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Hmm. Interesting choices. Oh, two women dancing? I guess we... I don't know how Orle views such things. Well, all of these are just choices. There's no investigate options. Let's go. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. Court approval 10. I will accept that. Thank you. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I think I can agree with that, yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspard, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. I agreed with her and I got court approval minus 10. Oh my god, this dancing is so goofy. Look at me. <laughs> look at me moving around. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> okay. Fuck, court approval minus 10? Is it because I agreed with her? I don't understand the game. There's no need for concern. I've come here to help Ole. Helping Orle has a variety of meanings depending on whom you ask. Kindness to some is cruelty to others. You cannot be a savior to them all, 
To some you must be a monster. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? Jesus. Can we... Can we not get court approval minus 10 every time I say something, please? Because what the fuck is that? <laughs> I hate this. I wish to game the game. An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. Oh! You have little time. Oh, come on. Surely that's court approval. The attack will come soon. They're all clapping. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? <sighs> okay, we're at 49 of 100. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. No dances for Corypheus? I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Everyone's playing the game. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. He's waiting for Liliana to acknowledge Morrigan? No? Okay. The fuck? I don't think so. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. I'm not like with Liliana, she's a curious case in this game. I think she's one of the best for the war table operations, but every time she offers advice, it's like, I could kill that person or let that person die. I'm like, hello? <laughs> Liliana, we. Are you not like the, the hand of the divine? Oh, here I go killing again. <laughs> Liliana's so interesting in this game. I'm a pretty conflicted on her. It's kind of strange. I need more information. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlay. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor. Not ours. The elf assisting to put another elf in power over, like, Celine and Gaspard, though. Like, the scandal of that. I need more information. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Celine in the ballroom, but she won't act. 
Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. I don't like this train of thought for this conversation. Find material in the Royal Wing to blackmail Briala, and find material in the Royal Wing to blackmail Gaspard. Mm. Okay. So that's doing this, and then we still have the the trophy room to inspect, and then it seems that the entire map has reset. Um, and I found a, some information for Leliana, which means I've got to look everywhere else all over again, just in case, and let's see if characters have updated dialogue. Is this it? Just looking at each other and what? I'm waiting for the party to start. Okay, this looks the same again. Back soon. I think the companions aren't updating, and that's okay. It's confusing to tell what's updating and what's not. Are all the Delon things here? I feel I that this quest, um, like, is a little bit messy <laughs> with uh, everything going on. Inquisitor. It's quite Hello? mentally challenging this is the same I'll see you later another time so I would be at 69 court approval right now if I didn't get minus 10 twice it is always good to see you my friend navigating the intrigues all right nobody's poisoned you yet have they We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Okay. Um, and we can talk to Celine. Ah, oh, Celine's not here. Not anymore. Okay. The ladies. Briala. We can only hope Celine you have such tonight. beautiful hair. Gaspard Come on, will ruin us Thank all. you. <laughs> I just love how Colin is just being like crowded. Yeah. So many crimes of fashion. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. This is good work. Yeah. So many crimes of fashion. Do you really think Briala should be given influence? Selina has been in power long enough to expect support. If we secure her throne, she will be grateful. But such gratitude will pale beside that of one we raise up from nothing. Who is lower than the elf? If we place Briala in power with Gaspard as her mask, her debt to us will be great indeed. And Gaspard will have the throne he has wanted. With conditions, of course. I suspect he will still find it gratifying. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. So Liliana is suggesting that Celine take the fall when my third husband, Pierre, and then Briala and Gaspard kind of together rule. Another time, perhaps? Okay. Okay. Again, it falls onto the, the main character's shoulders to make the gigantic decisions. Leliana did not even acknowledge um, me name dropping Morrigan casually. That kind of feels strange. Are we ready to move out? Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. Okay. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Sure. Um, court approval, 51 out of 100. Okay. So we, we eavesdropped on this already. Let's talk to Ambassador Anton. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? 
We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. Ooh, trick the guards into leaving. Uh, this is another situation where I don't know if doing investigate is going to remove the star because it has happened before. I'm curious. What did you hear about the fight with the Archdemon? They say the army of the Inquisition fought a desperate stand at Haven against the forces of an old god. As the battle raged, you faced down evil incarnate. Spell against spell, its forces had you trapped. And you cast down a mountain upon the Archdemon and escaped. Even if a tenth of that is true, it's a remarkable feat. All right, there we go, nice. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, uh, search the trophy room for evidence of Gaspard's meeting. I feel like I need to be cautious. Especially, whoa, what is that? Oh my God, especially considering that. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Shepard. <laughs> Inquisitor. It doesn't have the same ring. Lavellan. Lavellan. It does not have the same ring to it at all. <laughs> uh, I just feel like I need to be cautious because there's a lot at stake and then the game keeps going, make decisions. And I'm like, Ugh. I need more information. Unknown monstrous beast taken in a hunt in Serol by Duke Emmerich in the 27th year of the Dragon Age. Hello. Krogan exist. Oh, that's so fun. My favorite thing, and obviously like, um, I wouldn't know this, um, and I only got to know it later, 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 when people told me about it, is in Mass Effect 2, when you're doing the heist mission with Kasumi, um, there's a Dragon Age ogre in there as well, which is really cool. Obviously I had zero reaction to it because I had never seen one before in my life. Uh, so I was just like, cool but like but it depends on the order of which you play games you know so now when now that we've played mass effect i get to walk in here and go <gasps> so now it actually is much more satisfying to have that so there were probably so many people that were like oh my god it's a fucking ogre from dragon age and i was i just had zero reaction secret love letter right you need to be quick because court approval. Uh, Deep Stalker Trophy, commemorating the expedition to the deep roads of Grand Duke Gratian and King Baron A. Dukan in the 31st year of the Blessed Age. May the friendship of our two nations endure forever. A couple of nugs. What a trophy room. All right, we got some orders in here. Bear Trophy, taken in a hunt in the Hunter Horn Mountains by Judah II. The gift of the Bronto uh, to Emperor Etienne I from Queen Valda, a Duke of Orzammar, to commemorate the trade agreement of 80th year of the Storm Age. <gasps> no! This game keeps killing me that I'm not a rogue. Hullum Shrall investigation clues. Philippe, move in on the western wing of the palace when I send you three shots of brandy, not taking any chances. Gaspard. There's the material. So he is, yeah, Gaspard is doing it. Oh, that's, that annoys me. I hope there's nothing super important there. Um, all right, I guess we can go. Like who opened this door? Can't read that, but it, you got a werewolf. Um, okay, trophy room investigated. So that gives us good information, most certainly. 
Uh, Reg any stashes on the lower level. How do we get to the lower level? I need to go over this side. But that door is... Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can go out this way now. Alright, at least our court approval is okay. Okay, the lower levels. Oh, I need one more statuette. That's annoying. Interesting. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's sped up estate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heal, if you ask me. Okay, so I, I should probably check all the eavesdropping things again. Where is... Oh. Oh, lower levels. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Alright, lower levels is tied to the Hala statuettes. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying. Um, I guess I can toss the coins that I have at the moment. I get court approval every time I toss a coin in. Nice. Is it true the I'm actually surprised I haven't found more coins. Yeah, they've definitely added more stuff around the place now. <laughs> Scandalous password. Oh, there's so much, so many more things to pick up now. Are the negotiations over yet? Both the Empress and the Grand Duke look angry. Germain bore his nephew spite better than the rest of the council. Hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. It's very interesting that they decide to reset the, the map and add a bunch more stuff again. Just gossip. Well, I mean, that's what it all is, isn't it? Well, this is going to get us a lot of um, approval. This door is sealed for the evening. Please move along. <laughs> Looks a little bit more than sealed, mate. All right. Trying to find a Hala statuette anywhere, please. That would be that would be preferable, and then I can get into that door. Inquisitor, enjoying the ball, I hope. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes. This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, maker forbid, the talk should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Okay, enjoy the pâté. Good evening, Lady Marcelet. Another time, perhaps. Another time. Okay, um, let's toss some more, another coin in, shall I? Are all the Delonces here? Maker, I hope not. Court approval going all over the place. Huh. It's a good thing I can sprint around and that doesn't affect anything because <laughs> that's not built into the game. This is still just whispering. Just gossip. Because, yeah, we, we don't know if any of the previous eavesdropping things... Um, uh, ...have updated. Okay, so from here... 
we're gonna go to the upper level that's gonna have some stuff for us as well this is interesting because we haven't even been over this side because it's like blocked off I am not talking to you until we get home they're still here the answer is the Cal Shurok have yet to return oh yeah. We go back in here just for a sec. Deliver everything to Leliana. Now this door says it's barred from the other side, I think. Maybe the upper level has a, some stairs that can go down there or something. The Valmont Emperors, Emperor Etienne the First. Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Val -Chavin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven, and already up to my elbow. Oh, how they grow. Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the Dowager. It was lovely to see you, my dear. <sighs> Ugh. So many crimes of fashion. Not even a um, an investigate option of, hey, Morrigan. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. We can use this. Nice. We're at halfway on the secrets. They didn't have a report on the casualties in the dance. Some influence, nice. They are fucking working me to the bone to search for so many. Don't jump on tables, guys. You'll lose approval. They are. Oh, you are here. They are working me to the goddamn bone. Uh, to collect all this shit. Ah, yes, uh, the Inquisitor. She just, uh, sh she do enjoy jumping on the, on the tables. We tell her not to, but she has no manners, you see. What is Lady Pentecost? Where, Where, is, it? Where is that lazy elf? I sent him down to the cellar for more wine oh, man. hours ago. Oh, hang on, there is something here. The, co the coins are really rough. You have to be like right on top of the coin, I think, for it to even start showing up. So I have to keep my eyes like locked onto my minimap as well. I think it's a little bit unfortunate because it definitely takes away from the mission at large, I think, because there's actually so much to enjoy here and it's so cool. But then you're constantly doing a lot of um, collecting and searching for things. It detracts, for sure. If I'm gonna check around here again. Okay, here we go. Another one? Or was that the game just being weird? It's the game being weird. No coins here or anything? Okay. And we can no longer go back out. We're locked in here. Okay, we're gonna go to the upper levels now. I am I'm just gonna keep making like separate saves you until we get home. Fine by me. as we progress to new areas. Interesting. Just gossip. Lame. I am not talking to you until we get home. Right by me. To the royal wing. Oh, we're back. 
All right, so you guys get your equipment, but I have to re-equip mine. I'm glad that I don't have to like constantly do it for everyone, but it's still... <laughs> it would be nice if they just saved what you had before, you know? That's all right. Okay, court approval is going to start going down then, right? Room after room, and for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful. Right? Valmont Emperors, Emperor Etienne II, 851 to 855. That... That bird noise is really distracting because I kept thinking it was actually coming from not the game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a... It's throwing me for a loop. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, eight out of ten. We've got two more to find, and then we can open. There's a door with five needed here, and then a door with three. So we can open. Wait, does that mean that there's not enough Hala statues to go around? Wait, hang on, because I think you spend the Hala statuettes to get into doors. There's a door that needs five to get in, and then another one that needs three to go to the lower levels. But there's only a total of ten? Which means if I spend the three that I have to go down to the lower levels, and then find the remaining two, I will only have two out of five. Are they serious? <sighs> there's so you, there's not even enough to go and explore. Okay, that's awful. It's really frustrating. Oh, Jesus. like how the, how the fuck am I supposed to know that ahead of time? You know what I mean? Lord Farquaad. Surely there was better ways to do that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, we're certainly not questioning that person. Are you all right? I'm... I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Oh. Briella told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? 
Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. So, Briala and Gaspar just suck. Like, <laughs> they just suck. Um, so we want Celine to be the one. At least that's what feels... What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. At least that's what feels right, you know? I realise that we got a character codex entry for the Duchess. Ooh, butterfly stuff. Okay, interesting. Interesting imagery. Your Grace, you requested the swiftest, surest method of getting a message to Grand Duke Gaspard, so I've arranged for you to meet with his sister, Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. While she is the least account among the current heirs to the Elysian throne, her connection to her brother is extremely close. Gaspard will listen to anything she says. Be persuasive. Morrigan, this is just your grace. Yes. Interesting. So, Morrigan giving advice to the uh, Duchess on what to do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna access the lower levels with the uh, with the three statuettes. That's what I've decided. Um, not this one that needs five. I mean, we can't even access Hello? it anyway. Somebody, anybody? You're kidding me. There's someone behind the door. Are you serious? Okay. There's someone behind the door. Oh. I hate everything. Okay. So it's either completing the Red Jenny quest. Um, complete the Red Jenny quest and go to the lower levels. You painted Elysian assholes! When I get out of this, I'll butcher you like the pigs you are! Or see who's behind that thing. Door. Oh, what the fuck? Inquisitor, a what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. Wow. With a rift as well? I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. See, Corypheus wants the Empress to die. And Leliana's like, yeah, we should let her die. I'd love to go back to Leliana and go, hey, so about that, do you think that your plans and Corypheus's plans should be the same? Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Celine's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Okay. Your Orlesian royalty. Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. My favorite thing about characters like this that serve the main big bad is they're always like, he's promised me a place in the new world. And they just, they never realize how empty that promise is. It's like how naive to think the new world will include you. <laughs> what exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas and Corypheus will save me. 
When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. Okay. At this point, I think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. Okay. She'll make a fine gift for the master. Oh, look at that move. That's cool. <laughs> Imagine thinking you could kill the Inquisitor and my friends. Yeah, damn. All right. Here we go. Evade the trap. Well, this was certainly material to... Oh, so close. What a pleasant distraction. Who's sitting on the ground? Who the fuck is that sitting on the ground? Hello? What the fuck? I trust his tits. What was all that? <laughs> Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? <laughs> Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Make her bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Ooh. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Hmm. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Stinking punsy cheesemongers. Hmm? He's going to attack tonight. What about the peace talks? Nobles don't give a shit about honor and conduct unless it suits them. He'll do what it takes to claim the throne. Impressively ruthless of Gaspard, if predictable. We're after one assassin, right? Should the rest just queue up? Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Okay. Return to Cullen with the information gathered. And uh, we're in trouble. Because the she's off to the ballroom. Le Requiem. Le Requiem. Okay. Uh, let's look around and see what we can find while we're here. Alright. Florian. How interesting. How interesting. Okay. Locked from the other side, because when a thing's not locked from the other side, um, is this going to take us, takes us to the main level? Take more of a look around first. Oh, hello. That's unfortunate. Um, no hidden items out this way. I think we're good to move. Actually, I think there's a little more out here that we can investigate. 
Oh. We can't go back. Damn. Um, shit. I really thought we'd, we would have been able to go back. So I might have missed some stuff. That's a shame. I didn't expect that door to be locked. Hopefully I can circle back. Ah, this is so cool. I love this artwork. Le Requiem. After his coronation, in the 84th year of the Blessed Age, Emperor Florian commissioned the building of a chapel in the Palace of Hallam Shirel as his first act. To honor his infant daughter Evangeline, who died in the Hundred Days cough outbreak of the 77th year. The chapel contains exquisite murals, Empress Justinia herself painted, of the life and death of Andraste. Jesus? Dragon Ages Jesus? Look! Mmm. Mmm. Elves with the key. Because Andraste did like those elves. And then we've got, um. Yes. Matherath the Betrayer, right? And then a Tevinta looking Magister? Okay, where are we? Oh, it's one of those. Lesion Theatre. The body is not yet cold. Someone in this mansion killed Lord Carcass. <laughs> the dead guy's name being Carcass? Okay. Blanche the chambermaid. Mika's mercy. There's a murderer among us? Who's the sussy one? <laughs> Andraste, take it. The woman's right. How do we proceed? Among us, we must search for some hint as to how the foul deed was done. With gusto, if no one goes by the amount of blood on the walls... Blanche faints from Death in the Mansion by Violet Armand. Incredibly, this enjoyable, if somewhat predictable melodrama begat a storm of debate. At the end of the piece, the murderer of Lord Carcass changes into a villain's mask before giving an elaborate confessional speech. At the time, masks in Orlesian theatre were fixed to each role. Ah, yes. Plays were written with the assumption that the masks gave audiences vital information a player's characters might not possess. Death in the Mansion ignored this implicit contract, shocking the audiences at the time. Armand was nearly destroyed by the attacks on Death in the Mansion by both her theatre-goers and Orlesian critics. Many accused her of an unforgivable violation of the spirit of the theatre, a vogue for false face stories caught on among the foremost writers of the time. However, and today, Armand's techniques are seen as wholly unremarkable. It only goes to show how easily the alchemy of time shifts the outrageous into the everyday. I didn't see that being like a decent idea though. But obviously it breaks it breaks the rules. They have they we read about that. They have those masks for a reason. Okay, oh we're over this side now. And then it looks like this will take us out. Okay. So now we can go to the ballroom and hopefully prevent what's about to happen with Florian. But it looks like we're not able to go back up to the levels. What the fuck? There's even more parlor doors? Oh my god. There's even more? Which, hang on. 
that means I think if things are going to play out the way that we think when we go back to this ballroom from this door, we're not going to even be able to go to the lower level with the three statues we have. Ah, oh, man. It's painful when you don't know any of that stuff ahead of time. Like, obviously I'm not. There's no way that I'm able to really know that stuff ahead of time, but damn, it just sucks. Because we're just missing out on things. Be nice if I could go out that door just to like sidestep it. I have discovered the kitchens. As usual, the cheese wheels have been discovered. kitchen secrets to obtain. Got some loot. Well, we did save before going up to the this place, but unfortunately I think we found the third Halloet uh, statue that we needed when we came upstairs, so we're kind of screwed. You'd have to like redo the whole entire quest again to have an optimized outcome. I guess. Just unfortunate. Wait, where does this go? Oh, hang on. Oh no. Urgh. Damn magical ribbons that won't allow us to open doors. What a goddamn useful door locking mechanism. Alright, I'm gonna make another save here then. We're entering the grand ballroom. No matter how many saves you make, you cannot prepare yourselves for the things that you do not know, like that there are limited statues. Let's prevent this plot from taking place. I gotta give Cullen the evidence. Thank the Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Allow the Empress to die before dealing with the Duchess. Save Selene's life, then deal with the Duchess. Detain! The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Thank you, my boy. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open, our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! Oh! Oh, come on, guys. Surely not. Wow. Now! Kill them all! Bruh. She just took down like five dudes. And another one. Cullen, protect the people! Yes, Inquisitor. Damn! Alright, shit's hit the fan now. <laughs> she really just like play it, laid it all out on the table there. And then also just had to announce, for Corevius! Whoa! Oh, 
She changed clothes. <gasps> She's a rogue. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimond. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? Sorry, did you say defenseless as you hold a bow and arrow to my face? You were about to murder the Empress. We both know you're not defenseless. True, you never were one to fall for my helpless damsel act. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Landing bare feet in the bird bath, though, like, I just feel so uncomfortable. Grand Duchess boss fight. What the fuck? She's just sitting up there. Look at you guys in the bushes. Hey! Throwing shit at me. Oh, that's Solus. <laughs> I thought Solus was a fucking enemy. I was like, who's throwing shit? I'm asleep. She's up on the wall. She's up on the wall. Okay. to the Duchess. Where's the Duchess? I mean, she's trying her best, I guess. Shall we go back to the party after this? I'm like, so, uh, let's continue the celebration, shall we? So I can go down to the lower levels. Yes? No, oh, maybe. See ya. The Trapana's Requital. Still don't think then that that's what's better than what Sarah's currently got on her, I don't think. What a, oh no, it's better. What an unfortunate um, way to go out. Yeah, nice. I can give that masterwork grip to this one later. Lovely. Well, that was fun. I suppose we should attend, um, head back to the, to the festivities. Um, I think that we've also must have missed our opportunities to return uh, blackmail and information stuff to Liliana as well because I didn't realize we were about to get put into a point of no return unfortunately oh yes we're back out here again okay this is where everything started uh, which means I don't expect there to be anything out here Back in. Return to the ballroom. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. 
<laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Okay, oh, use the evidence gathered about Gaspard to support Briala. Reveal evidence of Gaspard's crimes to the Empress. So Briala helped stop Florian or Gaspard was planning a coup. Well, if we use evidence gathered about Gaspard, I think that still does the same thing while also supporting Briala. And we didn't let the Empress die. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together. Of course. Okay, we have so many things. Gaspard was making threats. We have Gaspard's orders. We met your mercenary captain and he murdered an emissary. Well, I think the most effective one would be the fact that we actually have his signed orders, right? Because that that's more incriminating than the word of a captain who hasn't been paid yet. We have the notes to your general ordering him to move troops covertly into the palace grounds. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually, you'll convince somebody. Oh, we can go through all of them? He also murdered a Council of Heralds emissary. I found the body in his knife in the servants' quarters. I have done no such thing. So would that also have been Florian doing that and trying to frame him? And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Selene. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. Oh, Gaspard executed. Gaspard executed. Attempt to reconcile Selene and Briala. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. For this service to the Empire, Briala, your previous treachery will be pardoned. But you will have to live in exile. You're too kind. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orlé owes you its future. Wow, okay. Interesting turnout. You Whoa. have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. D he just approved. This is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Huh. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? I will. I will address the court. Um, just quickly, I think Cole's approval was the re reconcile, but his great disapproval was the execution. I, I, that's the only way that makes sense to me. Um, I also think Gaspard, while very careless, that allowed him to be taken advantage of by his sister. 
and he's paid the consequences, but I don't actually think that he was to blame. I also don't think he was guilty, but I, I was put in a situation there where it was like, address his evidence. And then he was either executed or he was either executed, you know, like, which was quite interesting. I'm not sure, like surely there would have been maybe some other options, but there's, we didn't even get to go to the lower levels. It's just like an unfortunate matter of manipulation by on Florian's part there that had made him look really bad. We don't know if he killed that person with his knife. We don't, um, that could have been the roguish sister who is framing him. So we don't really know for sure there. It's just, he's unfortunately such a likely suspect in that situation, considering the, the mercenaries and the apathy towards whether or not Celine dies, you know? Um, but we saved her. There has been some reconciliation and Gaspard to be executed. It's very interesting that most of our characters do not have a stake in this. They do not approve or disapprove. Like there's a lot of ones that aren't even mentioned, but Cole, who's not even here, He's always watching, I guess, <laughs> in his spiritual sense and always approving or disapproving in the background. Okay, so we're addressing the court. Peace should be our concern. The enemy is connected and be ready to fight. Ending the war was the first step. Our final goal must be peace for all, Thedas. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. <gasps> Hello. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. How oh, interesting. Um, excuse me, Morrigan. I have the lower quarters to attend to. I picked up these stupid little statues. <laughs> I need to enter some doors. It's very interesting to say that. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> nice. Will you be coming back to Skyhold to have a reunion with Leliana, who refused to even acknowledge you? Awesome. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Nice. Which makes sense. She's like, well, it's not my choice. It's Celine's choice. So if we let Celine die, I wonder what would uh, end up happening to, to Morrigan. Look, look at us. Look at us. Just a couple of goth mages on the balcony having a chit chat. <laughs> What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. So sassy. Why are you still here? I love that, like, um, there's no approval or disapproval with this one this time, so we can ask all the questions freely. 
<laughs> Are you a blood mage? Because this character doesn't know Morrigan. It's nice. It's a fresh start to ask questions. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Look at the snake. You see the snake detailing on her glove. So much snake imagery in Inquisition. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. <gasps> she is going back to Skyhold. <laughs> the walk. She's going to Skyhold. Oh, oh, was that like, oh, okay. I'm not surprised to find you out here. Thoughts? I love that I'm in my battle attire, even though everyone else fought with me, right? In their battle attire, but he specifically got dressed back into his formal gear and I'm still in battle. <laughs> that was an interesting pass. No words were spoken between them, but for some reason there was like an energy about that. I don't know. I felt weird. Like they walked past each other, but didn't say anything, but it was like almost knowing. I don't know. Us mages are all weird and cryptic. Um, Morrigan's going to Skyhold. I wonder if, I wonder if Liliana will acknowledge it then. Cullen would know about Morrigan, potentially based on when we went to the Circle Tower. Who else is around from back then? Not many. Poor Gaspard, okay. Things turned out well. I have a feeling this is only a temporary victory. There's much, much more trouble ahead. For now, focus on what's in front of you. What's happening with his nose? Come. Before the band stops playing, dance with me. Oh. Imagine, imagine declining. Um, is his, is, is he supposed to have a piece of helmet on top of his nose, but it's, it's pierced his nose instead? Excellent idea. Of course we're going to dance. Why would I even decline that? I'd love to. I'm the one who suggested it. Oh, it's a private one out on the balcony. That's cute. I'm the one who suggested the dance. And he followed up. How lovely. Um, and now we're back. What a goddamn convoluted quest line with some really cool stuff in there, right? The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? All right, we're back at Skyhold. Um, very unfortunate that there are so many things out of our control there, right? Uh, court approval, giving you a, an imposed time limit, very stressful. Finding out blackmail stuff to give to Leliana, but you don't know when you're no longer able to give that information. A limited number of Hala statuettes, so you can't even explore all of the doors, of which there are so many. That is woefully designed, that level. Uh, I would like to know who designed that level and we could just have a conversation. I'll just have words, we'll just talk. And I'll just say why. I'll just say why did you do that? And what compelled you to, um, to torture us so? <laughs> so unfortunately I didn't get to explore or gather uh, as much as I would have liked there, but I, you know, it's out of our control. It's not really 
that is definitely a quest line that you need like a guide for maximum optimization of like how to do this quest the best and obviously that's not what we're doing here so we had a genuine first time what the fuck experience <laughs> Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. Ah. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. They're quite important to the Inquisition, but um, I'd, have, I'd have to let them decide is a good one, actually, yeah. That is a good choice. We just decide who is going to rule or lay, and now we have to decide who the next divine's going to be. Like, I keep deciding who's going to be in power. I'd like a, a nap, please. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Oh. Leliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine. How is that possible? Not yet. But they could be. We need them to be. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remained deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. Wow. I don't think Liliana is a good fit for the divine. Um, she's a little too comfortable with killing. Cassandra less so interesting Cassandra wishes to uh, rebuild and better the Seekers I wonder if you'd be able to achieve that as the Divine um, I'd have to let them decide though how long does the Chantry need them? several months at least if one of them is crowned Divine she would not be returning to the Inquisition Oh, man, that's weighty. Um, that's weighty, indeed. Cassandra's a party member and Leliana's my spymaster. That's... Ooh. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Yeah, I need a nap. And also, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. God damn, that trip back just Don't from the latest let Skyhold. From your Victoria Talamshiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Alrighty. I have acquired the Mask of Valmont. Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts completed. Um, Guys, I just had a thought, right? I just had a thought what when it <laughs> now that we're back at Skyhold and Morrigan's here I just realized that if we oh she's in the garden if we played our cards right with positioning of quests Morrigan and Alistair would have been in Skyhold at the same time Because Morrigan would go to Skyhold, Alistair would be in Skyhold, and we missed talking to Alistair while he was in Skyhold. Oh, that's that's a missed opportunity. That is a missed opportunity right there. Damn. 
So if we if we did Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts first, there could have potentially been a chance for an Alistair and Morrigan reunion. Maybe? Oh god, I've got a lot of stuff. Um very curious if so, and I'm a little sad, but also I'm obviously not able to really again predict how that's gonna go, am I? The mask of Valmont. Oh, why does it have to look like that? That's all right. I'm going to take off. Um, I'm going to enter the settings so our helmet is hidden anyway. Lovely. And we are going to. I don't know. There's so much, actually. <laughs> There's a lot to debrief about. Um, now that we've completed a main quest, surely we'll have to talk to all of our companions, uh, talk to Morrigan, we need to sit in judgment of someone, uh, so there's, there's a lot for us to get to, and I think the Quartermaster looks to have something for us as well. So, lots to do, and we will be doing a Skyhold debrief after that one next time. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. I had some incredible moments. We got to see Morrigan again, which is amazing. Empress Selene uh, continues to rule. And I guess we'll find out what the future holds in terms of the divine as well. So we should have a chat to uh, Leliana and uh, Cassandra about that one also. Oh, these are the mosaic pieces. It's so much more noticeable now. Is there just those two? Maybe there. Maybe I need eyeballs to see. I'm pretty sure there's more than two murals. Cool. Um, mosaics, sorry, not murals. Nice. We will explore more of Skyhold next time. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the, the quest line for Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. The main quest was long overdue. Um, but I'm happy that we finally got it done. So we'll take a look and see what changes are available to us now, and then we'll proceed with the, potentially some more side quests before jumping into whatever the next main quest is, but we'll just have to see what these conversations with our characters hold. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.